guys, how you doing? I'm just going to make a video and show you the handgun we picked up last night. Uh, first of all, the case, it's, you know, it's okay. It's kind of flexible, you know. Don't set nothing on top of it, of course. Uh, it's just not the strongest case that I've ever seen. Anyways, uh, let's open this up and see what we got. Alright, it is the Beretta model 96A1 uh, chambered in 40 Smith & Wesson uh, comes with three mags, three they're metal uh, 12 rounds Let's see if we can get that in there there you go, 12 round mags uh, comes with your basic plain Jane loader, it does work good though for loading, some trigger locks that's when we took off the gun uh, just have, like I said it's still in there. We have the other trigger lock that come with it. Um, so let's get this out and take a closer look at it. All right. It's actually a really nice, really nice handgun. Very comfortable. Got got some good weight to it. I believe they said it was a uh, 34 ounces. So it's very nice. It does have a manual safety right here. Ambidextrous on both sides, right back here. On that side, and here's on the other side. Uh, now the mag release is only on the left side, so it's. I mean, you can take it and change it, put it to the other side, but it is only on the one side. And the mag does, you know, come out fairly easy. I mean, it, it pops it up pretty quick. I mean, you can see with it standing like this, it. You know, I mean, even upside down, it 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 pops it out. It's no problem. Um, aluminum alloy frame uh, has a steel slide and polymer grips. Now the grips you can change out. You got two screws and you take those out and you can buy different grips for them and, and put it on. I kind of like the all black look like this. So now another thing good about the uh, safety is it also is your decocker. So you just if it's on fire, all you gotta do is push it to safety and it decocks the firearm. Just like that. It's a, a really nice feature. And now there's one thing good about this actually. And you can see right here, there's like a little pin right there. And that pin, when you turn this safety down to decock it, the pin actually turns away because the hammer hits this pin and then hits the, the rest of the firing pin on the inside and therefore strikes the bullet and you got, you know. Now, when you decock it, let me see if I can hold this back and do it. This, this right here, it's that little fire right, firing pin right there, it starts moving just like that when I start to decock it. So even just the slightest move, and even if your hammer does malfunction, it's not gonna hit the hit that and make it hit the firing pin. I mean, it's, it's almost impossible for it to go off by accident when you're decocking it. Because it's just the firing pin mechanisms, the, the several pi the pieces to it, this one piece back here just completely moves out of the way. So the hammer cannot even hit it. So that's, that's a really nice feature. I, I really like how the manual safety also you know, has multiple functions for the decocker and the safety. Um, the gun has a really, really large cutout. Uh, reduces a little bit of weight, which is good because as of right now, like I said, it's 34 ounces the way it sits, and that's not even loaded. So like I said, hefty gun, helps with the recoil. Um, now to take this apart is really simple. Um, you can see there's a button right here, right there, and on the other side over here is the lever right here. So you push that button and you push the lever down and you'll actually see the slide jump off. It'll jump forward, not jump off, but it'll jump forward. So let's do that and you can see what I'm talking about. So push the button, 
push the lever down and watch the slide. It just jumped right forward. And all you gotta do is grab it and pull it right off. Now the rod is polymer. Uh, I'm not a big fan on polymer guide rods, but it does work and it does do the job. And it, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, I might change that all in time. We'll see. Um, and the barrel, there's a little trick to getting the barrel out. You can see there's a little, little rod, a little like a kind of like a button, like a rod right back in here. You got to push that forward, and it will raise this and let it allow it to slide out. As you can see, push it, and there you go, slides right out, just like that. It is a 4.9 inch barrel. Um, I mean, you know, basically a five inch barrel. Uh, standard rifling. Let's see if we can get that in there. Yeah, you can see a little bit down in there. There you go. Just your standard rifling. Yeah. Man, now that this slides off, look at that cutout up here. That's a huge cutout. But, I mean, it looks really nice and it does reduce quite a bit of weight on the handgun. With it all being all steel and aluminum, you need a little bit of weight taken off of it. Now to put it back in, just slide it back in. You gotta make sure this little rod back here is is slid back. It is a little bit of a trick when you're not used to it. Let's see if I can see what I'm doing. I it would help me out. And there we go. It's back in. Now you can see the little notches. I don't know if you can see them or not. Right? You can see little arms right down in there. It has to slide in those little notches. You have to get it just right, and it'll slide right in those notches, and it'll lock back in place. So, and to put your rod back in. It's not a very strong rod. I mean, it, it, I don't know what the, you know, what pound, how many pounds it is, but it don't take much to put it in. I mean, it's it's like a quarter of an inch. You just push it, and there it is. It locks right back in. So, I mean, it does a job, and it, it does a good job. So, and to put it back on, got to make sure the magazine is out. You cannot have the magazine in there. And then just slide, your, slide right back up with your, with your rails here. Pretty decent sized rails. Just slide, line it back up with that, and just push it and rack it. And it automatically locks back in place. And you ain't got to worry, because the hammer will not lock back if the safety is turned on. So it is a double action, single action uh, trigger. Uh, the first pull is about, I want to say about nine pounds maybe. It's, it's quite, a, quite a pull. But now when she cycles and you get that single action going, it's, the reset's actually pretty nice. Right there. And then there it is. It's about a quarter of a trigger release, I guess. And it, you know, it resets. So it's, it's actually, it's, and it's very smooth. It's a very smooth functioning trigger. I really like it. So, there's the uh, Beretta 96A1 and uh, Smith & Wesson, chambered in 40 caliber. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Subscribe to Yellow Jacket, and we'll see you guys in the next video.